Hey guys, Kirp here, and oh my gosh, this took me a long time, and I am going to be making a video today all about iPad OS 4.3. Okay, so, first of all, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be enabling one of the coolest things on our iPad, and as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is before. Um, now basically, this is really cool. So let's go into an app like um, settings or something. You can see we have settings right up there. And now we have multitasking gestures. So we can go with five fingers like this and pinch it. And right there, as you can see, no home button, just pinched. Yeah. So like that. Um, let's say we also want to open up an application like, um, like let's say photos or um, YouTube. YouTube is a cool application, obviously. Um, we can also use four fingers to swipe in between apps. So if we go like that, um, it's a cool animation like that. And if we go to the right, we see um, settings. So we can switch right over in settings, and it's really cool. And that's pretty cool. Um, you also have one more gesture, and you can just go up like that. Or sorry, up like that, and there you go. You get your list of things. So. Let's go ahead and let's do, um, I'll show you how to do this. So first of all, you're going to have to go to this link right here. I'll put it in the description. It's the link to download Apple's iOS 4.2.1 ISPW, the software update file for that. And, um, and you're going to have to use that to jailbreak it. it I know it's 4 or 4.3, but, um, you're going to have to use this to jailbreak it. Um, the second thing, you need Red Snow. Um, 0 0.9.6 release candidate 8 you can download that um, right here too and then third thing I uploaded some files too um, so you can find those here I made some pretty cool files to make it a lot easier to do some of this stuff um, so just go to this link I'll put that in the description too and annotate it um, so first of all back up your iPad people back it up it's not going to hurt to back up your iPad and also sync all of the apps because if something goes wrong here, um, if you back it up and you have all your apps synced, and as you can see right there, it actually actually opened iTunes because I plugged in my iPad. But um, yeah, so that's um, you're going to need to back it up, and if you have the backup, you'll be able to re re um restore it if you if anything goes wrong. So, launch the Red Snow that we downloaded. So, I'm going to the Applications folder and launch up Red Snow. And it says, please select the corresponding ISPW file for your current firmware. We're going to actually go and browse. And we're going to go to our desktop and select this firmware right here. So, press Open. It'll say Processing Firmware. And ISPW successfully identified. Um, it's preparing all this jailbreak data, patching the kernel. So let it do its thing, and then only select install CD, and then wa wa um, walk through the steps that it tells you to do right here. Okay, so you got that, and after that's done, it'll basically transfer a bunch of files over to your iPad, let it jailbreak. Um, now that's that's that part of it. Now you're gonna also want to go and download a file um, or a thing called iPhone Explorer. It's a free utility that lets you um, browse your iPhone file system. So you're going to want to go download the Mac version of that if you're using the Mac or the PC version. If you're using the PC. Um, now, I already have this, so we don't have to do that. Now, open iPhone Explorer. So let's go ahead and open iPhone Explorer right here. And you see my iPad is actually plugged in. you got to plug it in so that your computer. And now we go into our iPad and then select Root. Now you're going to want to go here, so var mobile library preferences. So we do var mobile library and finally where's preferences? Preferences, right there. Okay. Now you got, um, actually I think you have to go into system configuration. Okay. Um, is this where you're supposed to go? Let's see. I actually don't. Oh, right here. 
sorry. Um, not that bottom preferences. You gotta go to this top preference. So again, that's var, mobile, library, preferences. It was hiding from me, obviously. Um, so now you're gonna wanna take a file from here. So you're gonna wanna go find com.apple.springboard. So that's right here. So now we're going to take this and drag it onto our desktop or um, into our documents folder, let's say. Now you're going to have to go into the Mac App Store or any any place and just Google this application. Um, it's called Text Wrangler. This will help you edit this. It's very helpful. And it, that's right here. Okay, my camera's shutting down. Um, um, okay, so you're going to need to download this. It's free for the Mac App Store. Now let's go ahead and quit the App Store. Um, now take the thing that you, um, the file that you downloaded from your iPad and open it up. Um, not this, sorry. I'm going to want to go bring this to our desktop. Okay, what is it doing? Let's open up Text Wrangler and then we'll open it up. Just drag, drag the file that you downloaded. So go over here and drag it right into there. Okay, so there you go. Now go all the way down to the bottom right where it says System. Um, well, okay, we we already have it, but it's going to it's going to look like um, it's going to look like this. Okay, when you look in there, so it won't have anything to do with gestures. Now we're going to take one of these things, so just copy and paste and make it look like all the other ones. And then it's going to have to be, um, I believe, yeah, sys SBU system gesture. So SBU system gestures. And there we go, use system gestures. You can also just copy and paste this. Now, you save that, and then you're going to go ahead and upload this right back to your iPad. So you're going to take this, as you can see, I think, I think this is, um, let's quit everything, um, don't save that. Um, I believe that this is the file that I have, let me just make sure about this. Um, no, that's power management. Sorry, I was doing something else too. Um, okay, there you go. So you can take the springboard file that you just downloaded and edited it and re-upload it there. And you'll, it'll ask you if you want to overwrite it. Just say yes. I'm going to say cancel because I already have it on there. Um, now we're going to go ahead and quit this. And now let's go ahead and switch on over to, um, to the iPad. Okay, so now that we have the iPad right here, and we just uploaded the um, the files that we wanted to upload, let's go ahead and shut it down. Now turn the power off, and make sure that it's plugged in before you turn the power off, okay? Otherwise it'll be really annoying and hard to deal with. Okay, now, now we're going to need to um, Place our iPad into DFU mode. Actually, let's not let's not do that right now. Let's go ahead and actually do some stuff on the computer before we do that. Okay, let's get it ready. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the folder that you downloaded. It's called um, iPad 4.3 GM Boot. I actually have a uh, copy of this right in my uh, right in my applications folder. Um, so let's go ahead and you're going to find a file in here which is called iPad Tethered Boot. Now you download a zip file, you're going to need to unzip that first. Now using archive utility, just double click on it, you can get this file. You're going to want to place it into your applications folder. It's very important. Nothing will work if it's not in your applications folder. Then go ahead and drag it into your applications folder. Now Go into there and take the um, take this iPad tethered boot application file and place it right into the application folder too. So now you're gonna have iPad tethered boot and then um, the folder which has a bunch of files in it that you need. Now you're gonna want to um, go ahead and 
open this up, this application that I made actually. That says, do you want to boot your iPad tethered? Now we're going to, it says, please put your iPad in DFU mode. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see, our iPad's off. Now to place it in DFU mode, what you're going to have to do, hold down the um, sleep-wake button until it turns on. Now press the home button until it turns off. And then right after it turns off, you're going to need to let go of the sleep-wake button. And you just leave that there for a few seconds, and it should go into DFU mode. So we can let go of it right there, and it's probably in DFU mode right now, because the screen didn't come on. That's usually a sign that it's in DFU mode. So let's go ahead and I'm going to press the OK button right here on um, the application. And there will be no window, just the application will quit when it's done uploading files. The iPad screen will go white. That means that it's good, and it's booting up correctly. Now, if you don't boot it up like this, it will actually not work. So now, every time that you boot your iPad up and you want to be able to um, use jailbreak tweaks, you're going to have to do this. It's a tethered, jail a tethered jailbreak, and um, I mean, with the application that I made, I don't actually think it's quite as hard as it usually is. Usually, you're going to have to use terminal, but this is sort of, it's an automator workflow or whatever, so it's going to be a lot easier for you to do that. Now as you see, you go ahead and um, we've actually, sorry about that, um, so now it booted up and it's booted up normally, let's actually rotate it like this. It's actually booted up normally and now you're gonna have multitasking gestures. So Safari works, um, Cydia, which is the um, jailbreak thing. If you before you booted it up like that, it would be white. Now a sign that it worked is now it's not white, and it's um the Cydia icon. So everything works. All the multitasking gestures work. Um, thanks for watching. Um, catch you guys later. Peace.